if you are a fan of John Wick or just crazy action movies, please go watch The Raid. Um, if you are a longtime subscriber of mine, you may know that I already did a review of this last year when I started doing my channel, but I really wanted to rewatch it with a fresh mind. I didn't remember too much. And boy, oh boy, this movie is fantastic. I have no negative things to say about it. Um, this whole review is just going to be me sucking this movie off. Um, I don't know where to start, but this movie came out before John Wick, and it is it is nuts, the, the stunts that they pull off here. Um, I don't know if everyone does their own stunts, but there is a lot of people in here, and you can tell that they do their own stunts, especially our main character, which I forget his name. Very simple story. Um, this man is a part of a SWAT team, and they have to go raid this building. And it is literally like 40, 50 floors, and it's gigantic. And they're trying to stop the drug kingpin that is at the top. Super simple premise. Um, there's not a lot of character work, but when there is, it is done right. Um, if I did have anything negative to say, to say I would want a bit of more character work, but for what we get, it gives you just enough to leave you wanting more, and that's where the sequel comes in. Uh, I did watch the second one a while back and didn't do a review of it. The sequel is just bigger in scale. It's this like literally like this is like the first John Wick. It's very small in scale. Um, you're at one location for the whole time, which I really enjoyed. And the second one, you just go to a lot more locations. The movie's a lot longer. Um, there's different weapons. Uh, I'm not sure which one I like more. I gotta watch the second one again. I'll definitely do a review of that one. But the first one is so simple yet so satisfying to watch. There's so many intense moments. One of my favorite moments is when they're in they're stuck in the dark and they're just waiting for someone to make a sound or just something. And they're just sitting there and waiting and waiting. And one guy makes a mistake of shooting his gun and the enemies see them and they just see the ref the the light go off from their barrel and they oh that's how the massacre just happens from there but if you've seen the movie you know what i'm talking about um i think this movie has a ton of rewatchability yes there's not a lot of story here but for what we get with the characters i think they're really well done um they're very likable some of them they want you to hate and they do a really good job at that but uh, my main focus was on our main character and the captain of the team, who I didn't really care for before, but after watching his second time, I really liked him. Um, really good, just straight, badass dude who just wants to do his job right and get in and get out while saving everyone that they can. Uh, literally everyone in this movie gets massacred. Um, the ending is really satisfying. I'm not going to really go too much in depth about it. There's a lot of layers you can uncover, but the main character bumps into his brother, who he has not heard from in 20, 30 years, and he's in this building cooking meth, crack, whatever they're doing, and he has the chance to leave at the end of the movie, and he decides to stay, and they have a really good heart-to-heart -heart moment at the end of the movie, and he says... His brother's like, why aren't you coming with me? You know, you could be doing something with your life. He's like, I don't know, man. It just it just fits me. And they both they both part ways and the movie ends. And I thought it was a, a beautiful ending. Uh, gives you enough of what you want. And I like when everyone has those one-liner moments and then they just walk away and the movie ends. Uh... The most important thing is the action <clears throat> in this movie. If it wasn't for this action, holy fuck, I don't know what this movie would be. There is, I've seen so many action movies 
And like comparing this to John Wick, this is a lot more a lot more of mixed martial arts. And you can tell that these people are doing their own stunt work, especially when everything is just in one take and you can see everything. The choreography is fantastic. A plus shit right there. Um, there is just some kills in here that I can't explain. Uh, it is really hard to explain. You just gotta watch it for yourself. Uh, so many unique ways and using the environment to their advantage. I mean, really using the environment around them. And I don't know how these motherfuckers are still going. Like, I don't know how these guys are still making movies to this day. I don't know how old they are, but like, this shit really needs to take its hold on your, it has to take its hold on your body after a while. Um, how fast they go, the speed of their punches are just insane. Uh, this is going to give you everything you want. You're going to get the glamorous, glorious kills, but you're going to get some really, really good hand-to-hand -hand combat, and I think that's where this movie shines. Yes, you got the guns and blah, blah, blah. John Wick does hand combat, but I think the raid does it better. It does it a lot more fluently, a lot more faster. Uh, John Wick is a lot more slower as Keanu Reeves is aged, but still good, still watchable, but the rage he takes to another level. Um, funny enough, there's a guy that's in John Wick 3 that is in the first raid movie. He dies in the first raid movie, and he's in the second raid movie, but he's playing a different character. It's really weird. All in all, 10 out of 10 movie. Please go watch this if you're looking for just a good time, man. Um, I will warn you, it is very bloody. It is really bloody, and the fucking movie just starts, man. And you're thrown right into this. You get a few moments with the cops before they go in, and it's just adrenaline pumping all the way through. I uh, never felt the runtime. Perfect pacing. What else could you, you ask for from a great film? Uh, nothing to complain about on my end. If I were to grade this, I would give it an A plus, 10 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching, and I got another review coming tomorrow.